Okay, you guys comment down below if you guys noticed Elijah's little snort. If you guys noticed he has a little <laughs> He has a little snort, it's the cutest thing. Hey. Okay. You guys, my baby has cradle cap to like the fifth hundredth degree. It's so bad. I don't know if you guys can see. So every morning he wakes up with this like dandruff. Like his, his, his head is just full of like dandruff in the mornings. Obviously because he's tossing and turning throughout the night. <laughs> head care routine to me. <laughs> so comment down below you guys. If you have any hacks and tips and tricks for like cradle cap. Because I know that it will pass eventually, but Meheto for now, what can we do to help the situation? Oh, look at how much milk he drank, no, you guys. Drink. He literally drank Hello. a full bottle. My baby is at that point where he can finish a whole bottle on one go.
guys, Auntie Bibi went and got Eli some diapers. Wait, on the right way out? Yeah. Can you believe the baby is a size 2 now? He's a size 2, you guys. Size that means he's like between 5 and 7 kilos. How? How can a, a How not, is he five He's not even 2 for, months old. He's not even 2 months old yet. And he's right now. He's growing by lightning So crazy. There's Uncle Limbua. Yeah. Uncle Limbua, can you say hi to the T gang? Say hi to the T gang. No T gang. Wait a minute. Hashtag T gang. I don't know him. Hi. Say hi to the T gang, guys. This is my bestie. Hi, if you don't know, now you know. This is me, guys. Tommy. <laughs> brought some goodies. This is what is this? Focaccio bread or something, but they it has it actually has meat. Usually oh. focaccio bread doesn't have meaty stuff. Focaccio, that's that how you pronounce focaccio. it. I don't know how you pronounce it. <laughs> I always used to say pizza bread. Yeah, but it's pizza always, bread. It was, it was with meat. Like <laughs> meat. And then some cake. Can we try that? And some pops and chocolate brownie. Yeah. Chocolate. This junk food guys. Don't be like me. <laughs> no, don't worry. That's all we do around here. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shime. If you're not, thank you for tuning back in. So my grandmother is in town. So that would be Elijah's great grandmother, which is insane because I never got to personally meet my great grandmother. But now Elijah has the opportunity to finally meet his great grandmother. So he is going to go over to my mom's house. To go spend time with his great grandmother so um we're gonna drop him off there so that's what's happening today he is currently down for a nap eli is sleeping so what i did was basically i cleaned up a little bit around the house i packed his stuff i can show you what i packed um for him and then what else did i do i sterilized his bottles for um for his his milk bottles i sterilized two of his bottles yeah so it's pretty exciting you guys um for elijah i just want him to spend time with his um immediate family so like the grandparents his aunties his uncle from all over because uh, we do have such a huge extended family and i want him to get to know each and every one and i know he's still so young but like these are the memories that we are all going to cherish forever and he's going to grow up around this whole community of loving people my husband and i were talking the other day we were just saying how blessed and fortunate he is to have all four of his grandparents around so it's such 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 a blessing for him and we really want to you know just make the most out of it i'm just going to do quick makeup because i do need to be ready for young adult i just got out of the shower now um after i do makeup i'm gonna um get Eli in the bath and then get him ready and then we're gonna wait for Elijah's dad to come pick us up to come scoop us up and then we're gonna get going it all started when I got pregnant stopped doing makeup at all 
like I just wasn't doing makeup because it was so tiring but anyway now that the baby is out and I have to hurry up before he wakes up um, now that the baby is out and now that I have some of my energy levels back I thought you know I need to like me have to before to I can't just you know so yeah anyway I, I want to show you guys what I've been doing for makeup so I start with my eyebrows and it doesn't take me long I still do makeup in 15 minutes so I just fill in my eyebrows and I don't know if you guys noticed but I had microblading done um, it's sort of fading out but I can't get in touch with my microblading lady so if you guys know anyone that does microblading and that's good please comment down below because I really need like a refill slash redo slash I don't know what you call touch up whatever they call it I really need one of those so plug me if you know someone and then I'm going to conceal my eyebrows or outline them with my foundation so I don't use a concealer I don't use something lighter because I don't want it to be like you know dramatic so I just use my own foundation color and that's what I use to outline and I use this concealer brush so the concealer in here is out so I just use the brush part of it to conceal my eyebrows It gives you that clean vibe, like it just cleans it up without like illuminating it. There we go, clean, right? And then moving on to my eyelid. So I'm just um, using my foundation again as an eyeshadow base. I'll just do like a brown. I'm just gonna use the end of this brush go into a really really light shade and go into my tear ducts like that and then blend it out with my finger and then I'll do some eyeliner you see how that like just like rounds up everything and then last but not least we do some mascreasy And that's it for the eyes you see how i look put together but not like over the top now i'm gonna go in with some foundation i'll do some highlight slash blush me all of 10 minutes to finish my makeup for my hair I don't know my sister does not like it when I do this hair stuff she says it makes me look old so let me try to do like a cute little sleek bun type thing okay sleek bun so I packed two bags I packed um, our Lady Bohamba bag, the one that we got at the hospital. This is another hospital bag we got from our medical aid. So I'll start with this one. Um, so here are his little cosmetics because they're gonna do bath time. My mom loves doing bath time with him. So in here we have some cotton swabs. We have his grooming kit. Um, so comb nail paper stuff like that we have this aqueous cream febu farm so he uses this to bath to wash and moisturize because his skin is so so sensitive uh, we have some johnson's baby wipes we have uh, the pantheon happy care ointment so his grandmother got him this because of his sensitive skin so she got it for him so he could um, so after this we apply this ointment when his skin is acting up and it works like a charm you guys if your kid is having some skin problems 
this is a 10 out of 10 it works wonders um, I have Epimax in here I don't know why we don't use that uh, purity shampoo and conditioner I've been using this ever since he was born still use it till now uh, then we have some baby bump cream from Bennett's and then we have some panado for in case he gets like in case he needs it basically and yeah a pacifier which he doesn't take you guys my baby will not take a pacifier under any circumstance I have no idea why maybe I should also put the diapers in here huh? yeah, so now moving on to the Bohamba bag in here in the front we have this um, medicine what medicine applier so if he's drinking panado you just put the panado in here and then give it to him as a dummy his grandmother also got him this um, and another pacifier which we'll never use I guess and then we have a little kavasla for bath time we have a burp cloth because he spits up a lot we have some socks in case it gets cold and it's so 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 hot and then I have a couple of outfits for him so what I do is I take like shirt and pants and, and I, I pair them together and I just like put them in a ball like this to make it easier for my mom to to kind of you see like I pull them together so she doesn't have to be looking for what to put with what so I just put in a couple of outfits in there and then I have another birth cloth in here as well you see he spits up a lot another birth cloth and then we have two beanies just in case it gets cold so in case it is either hot or cold I prepped for both of those occasions keep that and then I have his towel over there my bra is it seems like he's waking up now. Kashi Kashi Pindu Kaltoho Kashi You guys he's out. Oh my gosh. He's been sleeping for like two hours now. <laughs> I already picked out an outfit for him. He's gonna be wearing this little shirt with these sweatpants. I don't know if it's pretty hot i don't know if we'll go through with the sweatpants but this is his little outfit i just need to get his diaper what else his diaper and his things that he needs to get ready now and then yeah my husband said he's on his way so by the time he gets here we should all be ready because we have some things to also get done before young adult. I don't know which earrings I should do. This is one of the options. These rose gold ones. Oh, I could do gold ones. You guys, I'm so not a jewelry person. I feel like I need to... Oh, I really need to start making more effort into these girly things. Because I feel like when I got pregnant and even before that, I wasn't really into like getting jewelry and getting all dolled up and dressed up and stuff like that. But me had to one step at a time. So, do we like these? Yes. some socks 
because his feet are feeling a little cold to the touch but it's really really warm and hot even these sweatpants i was like won't he get hot but yeah we're all ready to go ready scrapella stop calling him that scrapella hey hello hello Come with me. She. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Or something like that. Okay. Maybe that was the issue. But Joe says clearly, if I have kept. Good morning guys coming to you guys with my husband in his dead look this is giving major dead vibes gentlemen what are these pluckies my darling no, no, this, this is unacceptable <laughs> this is unacceptable you can't go out like this but you know uh, I just need to quickly go so why are you back. going out like this i need to quickly go and come back uh -huh. I, i'm just too lazy it's not alive all these things are style mistakes uh -huh. just, guys you must not do this <laughs> Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, you are a walking example of what you shouldn't wear. Yes, I'm a walking this? example of what I shouldn't wear, but let me just spice it up a bit. So. You're gonna ice it up. Gentlemen, watch, always. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Okay. Walking hypocrisy is what you are saying today. Yeah, I don't know. Tell me what you do for hypocrisy. So. Uh -huh. yes, this is a case for that. But uh, today is one of those ones of do what I say. Don't do what I do. Mm. Yeah. Okay, Charles. <laughs> she is inside soon. Why? <laughs> Just why? So, Pluckies. <laughs> so, I buy the dread good buy. My amazing the man. And I don't know if I'm going to wear it. Hey guys, new day. So, today I am headed to actually go do my nails. I haven't done my nails since I've given birth. Oh, actually, before I gave birth, even maybe at like seven, eight months, no, I'm like, maybe like eight, nine months pregnant, I stopped doing my nails. So today, in a long time, I'm going to go do my nails again. I'm going to do something short, obviously, because I have a baby. Um, definitely going to plug y'all with my nail technician because she is really good. So uh, yeah, let's go.
Hey guys, so it's Sunday. It is Sunday. Coming from church, I'm currently at my sister in love's mom's house because she's here because she just had a baby. So I came to see my other baby. So both my babies are lying here side by side. My husband went to rehearsals. He's um he's um he's in a play for one of our friends. So he's busy with that while I spend some time with my babies. Once he's done over there, he's gonna come back over here. Since my baby was born, I bit off his nails. Like I would bite them off because I was so scared of using the nail cutter. Only recently did I start using this nail nail clipper. It's a Snookums one from Babies R Us. It's so like baby proofed. It's really really good. I even cut baby girls' nails with this. So yeah. Thank you. She's like, no. Am I even allowed to be drinking your mori juice? <laughs> okay, so both the dads are home. So the baby just woke up. I actually first changed his diaper and he was crying so much. That I didn't even close his thing back up and I just had to put him on the poop. And now he's all excited to get his foodies. Look at how he's moving around. Kashin, what are you You guys are sleeping? Mm hmm. I don't know my diary. I think we can get I'm going Okay, she's giving me a little bit. 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 Ok